NA1SS, NA1SS, this is Golf Bravo 4, Oscar Bravo Sierra, are you receiving? Over. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is Golf Bravo 4, Oscar Bravo Sierra, are you receiving? Over. NA1SS, Golf Bravo 4, Oscar Bravo Sierra returning. Richard, a very warm welcome to you from the teachers and pupils of Budbrook School. Are you ready for your first question? I uh, sure am. Thank you very much for welcoming me. It's great to be with you here today. Go ahead. I am Matthew. Sunrise and sunset can be amazing sights on Earth. What do they look like from space? Over. Well, hey, Matthew. Uh, well, as you might expect, the sunrise and sunset, is, it looks great from up here. It's quite a bit different than on the ground because the sky is below you, and so you're kind of uh, looking down on the earth and down on the sunset, but it's quite beautiful. Go ahead. I am Sam. Is it hot in space? Over. Hey, Sam. Well, uh, interestingly, space, since there's no air up here, it doesn't really have a temperature of its own, but if you uh, get in the sun or when the station's in the sun, everything gets very hot, and when you go into the shadow, for example, the shadow of the earth, everything gets very cold. So it really depends on if you're in the sun or the shade. Go ahead. I am Katie. What do you do with all of your rubbish in space? Do you recycle it and if so, how? Over. Well, hey Katie, that's a great question. And yes, we recycle lots of stuff on board. Uh, for example, we have a printer and we always print on both sides of the piece of paper before we use it up. Uh, we uh, uh, actually recycle the water even. All the condensation that comes off the air conditioner gets uh, cleaned up and recycled back into our drinking water again. And then after things, everything are used up as much as they can. We uh, put them in an uh, ejection uh, uh, device in the progress and burn it up in the atmosphere. Go ahead. I am Danny. What's your favorite thing to do on the space station? Over. Hey, Danny, my favorite thing to do is to either look out the window at the Earth, which is so beautiful, or also uh, fly around and float uh, like you can do here in space, unlike you can on Earth. Go ahead. I'm Abby. How do you exercise in space to keep fit? Over. Hey, Abby. Well, uh, up here in space, uh, it's important to exercise because uh, otherwise you don't use your muscles much. And we have a bicycle and a treadmill and some uh, resistance uh, kinds of exercises. Go ahead. I am Ryan. Why is there zero gravity in space? Over. Hey, Ryan. Well, interestingly, uh, I'm only about 250 miles above you right now, and there's technically still gravity here. And so we're technically falling towards the Earth, but since we're going uh, to the side at 17,000 miles an hour, uh, we actually miss the Earth and go past it, and they're pulled into a circle around it. So uh, we, uh, it, we feel like there's zero gravity, but technically there is gravity. Go ahead. I am Michael. Can plants grow on the space station? If so, what is growing at the moment? Over. Yeah, hey, Michael. Uh, yeah, there have been many experiments about growing plants uh, in space. Uh, there aren't any growing here right now, but uh, they can grow, but it's somewhat difficult because uh, uh, plants use gravity uh, to help them orient, so uh, uh, they think there's still some interesting work to be done there. Go ahead. I am Hugh. Is it hard if you concentrate in space than on Earth? Over. Hey, Hugh, for me there is, uh, because I still have something called space adaptation sickness. I got a little headache today, so it's uh, fairly hard to concentrate, but the people who have been here for a long time are doing very well. Go ahead. I am Charlie. What is the most dangerous job on the space station and why? Over. Hey, Charlie. Uh, going on spacewalks, which a lot of the cosmonauts do uh, and astronauts do, is by far the most dangerous because you have uh, only your little suit as a life support system. Go ahead. I am Rebecca. Do you ever feel dizzy in space? Over. Yes, hey, Rebecca. You sure do. At least uh, I know I do. It's uh, very easy when you get up here since there's no gravity uh, uh, for you to feel very disoriented and get dizzy easily. But after a few days, uh, you uh, adjust. Go ahead. I am Alice. How did it feel when the rocket lifted off the ground? Over. Hey, Alice, that was really amazing. For about eight minutes, it was like uh, uh, being on a, a roller coaster doing a loop. We had uh, four Gs, or four times the force of gravity. It was great. Go ahead. I am Alice. What do stars look like from space? Over. Hey, Alice, uh, well, the stars uh, up here, when you look out at night, are very clear and sharp, but not that much different than they are on Earth. But the moon is also really spectacular to see because you get such a clear view of it. Go ahead. 
I am Ellie. What do you do for entertainment on the space station? Over. Hey, Ellie, we have music, movies, and we fly around and juggle even yesterday. Go ahead. I am Annabelle from the space station. Can you see the moon rising set just like we see it on Earth? Over. Yes, we sure can. We get to see the moon rise and fall 16 times a day. Go ahead. I am Annabelle, and this is Rose's question. What do you miss the most about home whilst you are in space? Over. Oh, I miss food like hamburgers, pizzas, and macaroni. Go ahead. I am Michael, and this is Thomas's question. Who would treat you if you were ill in space? Over. Uh, yeah, if you get ill, you're the commander's in charge, but there's lots of people trained for medical emergencies here. Go ahead. I am Ellie, and this is Alex's question. What is the largest number of people allowed on one trip to the space station? Over. Well, right now, the maximum number is six, which is exactly how many there is here right now. Go ahead. I am Hugh, and this is Evie's question. I've always wanted to be an astronaut. What would I need to do to become one? Over. Ah, uh, well, I would definitely strongly suggest uh, sticking with school and focusing on that goal, because uh, I'm proof that if you want to, you can make it. Uh, just have to be a little lucky and uh, be very persistent. Go ahead. I am Matthew, and this is my dad's question. Our school is 40 years old this year. Do you think there will still be a space station another 40 years? Over. Well, I uh, think there'll definitely be uh, space in space, uh, if not uh, here in orbit, on the moon or Mars, or maybe all of the above, so absolutely. Hi, I'm Lynn Pierce. Can you take a picture of Bud Brooks School as you pass overhead and bring it back to our school? Over. Well, hey, Lynn, I will sure try. I actually tried to get a shot yesterday, but uh, the weather all around the globe is, uh, in this month, is fairly cloudy, but I'm going to sure give it a try, and I'll definitely come visit you guys and uh, bring you a picture if I can. Go ahead. NA1SS, GB4, Oscar Bravo, Sierra. Richard, that was absolutely stunning. Everyone here in the school wants to show their appreciation for you taking part. NA1SS, NA1SS, Golf Bravo 4, Oscar Bravo, Sierra. Richard, we hope you're enjoying your time on the International Space Station. We wish you a very safe return to Earth and hope to see you one day at Budbrook School. This is Golf Bravo 4, Oscar Bravo Sierra, passing back to NA1SS for a final. Golf Bravo 4, Oscar Bravo Sierra, off and clear. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Budbrook. I uh, look forward to getting back to the Earth and uh, coming over there and sharing uh, my experiences with you. Uh, 73 to all of you. Nice talking with you. See you soon. Bye-bye. NA1SS, thanks very much, Richard. 7-3s as well.